Welcome to the BIF Talks of the 36th Braunschweig International Film Festival. We talk with our guests about their latest film, the filmmaking process, and we take a closer look behind the scenes. My name is Julia Rutkowska, and I warmly welcome directors Andrea Madicic and David Kapak. Hello. Thank Hello. you for Hello. being here. No, thank you for inviting no, us. No, thank you for having us. Thank you. It's very nice here. You're the directors of The Uncle. Family is not an important thing, family is everything. This is a quote by Michael J. Fox, and in your film, there's also a family, a mother, father, son, and they are visited by the uncle. How does this family gathering go? Can you give us a, bit, a little insight into your film? We started this film by having this logline, family means violence or equals violence. But in the end, through the editing process, through screenings of the film, uh, our perspective changed. So for us now, the, the movie says, the film says, family uh, no matter what. Family uh, equals everything. So, yeah. Family uber alles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so um, in your film, there are very, um, some very extreme scenes. Um, how did, was the day on set? Um, how did the actors get into their role? And what did you do uh, after a day of shooting to like, lift the mood up again? <laughs> to lift the mood, you usually have a couple of beers. So we, we had a couple of those weekend parties dur during the week, just having sitting around the set, having beers. You know, when you, when you shoot a, a, such, such a hard film with such uh, emo strong emotional scenes, it kind of brings all, the whole atmosphere down. You feel like you're in a clinch the whole day. So each, each and every one of us finds a way to stress out, to relax. I usually stayed and had a beer with our prop master. So. Well, <clears throat> well uh, it was a quite stressful experience but uh, it was very fulfilling and uh, and sometimes you stay and drink beer sometimes you go home and play world of warcraft that was kind of <laughs> my way of dealing with uh, very difficult scenes yeah everybody has to find its its own own way what was the hardest part about filming what was the most fun part for you <clears throat> well the most difficult part of filmmaking is always to <clears throat> to write a screenplay uh, it was also a case uh, in, in it was also uh, in our case because uh, the, the screenplay is uh, is very meticulously uh, constructed and uh, uh, we wanted to uh, all those repetitions that are happening in our film to make it very different to to, to not be uh, uh, quite repetitive not being boring not being uh, the same on emotional or in a plot uh, and uh, the, ho the whole thing was a process uh, that, uh, that uh, started in 2015 and ended uh, just a few days or weeks before the shooting. I mean, the most fun part is always the shooting and it's also the hardest part. You have to accept that everything that can go wrong will eventually go wrong. But we've done a lot of TV work, so we, we are easily adapt. We easy, you know how to easily adapt to, to these problems and circumstances. But the hardest part was definitely those big, big dinner scenes with all of the actors. Uh, we shot them uh, like you would shoot a play. We shot the whole scene from the perspective of each actor. So it took a long time. It took a lot of, uh, it took a lot of the actors, and they were ready to go to bed at the end of the day. And they were also sick of the whole old turkey and the French salad and everything. They had to, there was a lot of turkey. Oh yeah, yeah. it was a lot of yeah. it. <laughs> I haven't eaten turkey since, nor do I plan. Mm. Well, me too. <laughs> <coughs> but um, it was quite delicious. The turkey, yes? yes. Okay, okay. Except, except the raw one. The, the, the yeah, 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 because it no, was, no, I, no, no. I, I was looking, oh, is it really? No, our food oh stylist God. finished yeah, 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 that okay. one and she made it into great like pulled pork sandwiches. It was pulled turkey sandwich. Oh, okay, the best, okay. The best sandwiches ever. Okay, so the, the turkey didn't get wasted. No. no. Except all those turkeys that were in that one scene with uh, Yeah, yeah, with yeah. The those got wasted. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> very cool. Um, every time the uncle arrives, He's film, filming the family. Um, is the camera kind of his tool of power? Is it a general, in general, a tool of power? Of course, 
camera is, is one of the most important tools of power you can, you can imagine because it doesn't show reality, it uh, constructs reality. We see it from a harsh and uh, cruel frame. So uh, our memories from childhood were from those relatives and uncles who had, who had video cameras, those old VHS cameras, and would film everything, would force people to say something funny now, enjoy yourself now, and everybody would stiff up as posing for a photo. So uh, we, we also we th thought of the VHS camera of being a tool of torture in, in a way. Also, actually, the camera used in the film was Andrea's Andrea's childhood camera. Yes, the, the VHS ca camera, the video camera that uh, the uncle holds, uh, in, his holds in his hand. And it still worked? Uh, so yes, it still works. It's a camera uh, of uh, my uh, cousin's uh, uh, grandfather who, who used it to uh, shoot uh, birthdays, uh, Christmases, uh, Easter's and every family gatherings. In Hopefully the, not in that way, yeah. <laughs> like in a movie. In the early uh, 90s and uh, yeah. still works because it, it's very well uh, preserved and uh, we, wa we, we wanted to take it and shoot the very similar, and of course the uh, very first films that I shot when I was a, a child, when I started to be a director, were, was shot with that camera. So it, it's a full circle now. Cool, and, but you did have to take care, I think, on set. Of the, of the camera, so nobody drops it. Or well, actually, no, the, 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 no. Actually, no. The production was very afraid of uh, wasting a day of shooting on a VHS camera. But, but actually, Miki Manolovic, the actor who plays the uncle, he shot all of the material because we wanted that authentic amateur handheld zoom shakiness. Uh, you can feel every step he takes. But uh, but but also you, do, you you can recall those long VHS camera of weddings, of birthdays, who are, who are not edited, who are just shot out of context. They were so boring to watch. I wanted to, to kind of replicate that, that feeling with the fo homemade footage of the uncle. Yes, yeah, so we gave the actor the camera and now shoot it. <laughs> and uh, there was a, <clears throat> a quite stress by production because they, uh, they thought that VHS uh, is a format that could be easily destroyed. No. And, <laughs> but no. As you see in the film, you can jump on it. So there was a, there was a steel suitcase, like for a plutonium to take uh, the, the, the cassette to the editing room and to, to transfer it to, 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 transfer digital. It to the digital. Okay, okay, gladly it worked. <laughs> yeah, actually, the hardest thing was to get empty VHS tapes, because nobody makes them anymore. Yeah, yeah. They had to go it. online to find them. So how many uh, tapes did you need? I think that each take was shot on a different cassette because the production was afraid, again, not to lose any material. So we went through a lot of tapes. At the end, we found out that we actually taped over some old films. I was checking the material and two, two Roman actors in, in total. It was like Ben Hur after or, or, or our material it started the film with, uh, yes. It happens. Yeah. So <laughs> thank you very much for the interview. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.